worked out one of the staunchest supporters of the North Melbourne Football Club would have to be Trevor Marmalade. He has followed them for many, many years. He gets very passionate about the game and he was there today. And what a glorious day it was for anyone who barracks for North. Uh, commiserations to uh, Sydney who tried their hearts out and uh, had a tough run with the two matches they played before, which were close matches. But uh, full credit to North Melbourne. What a game. What a match. Oh, and we're very pleased that we, uh, we had a tracking device on the bus. Uh, it went all over the place before it actually arrived at Arden Street, but I think that's where Trevor is now. Come in, Trev. Hey, Daryl, how you doing? Uh, we're, <laughs> we're doing well. You must be, uh, be plum-tuckered. Uh, it's a very tired and emotional strain, isn't it, uh, today? Well, yes, it's a, it's a nervous week, Daryl. Well, first off, can I say congratulations on your performance today. The, uh, the pre-match entertainment was absolutely sensational. And uh, can I say to Joe Beth also, that uh, the Swans did their best, but uh, suffer. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is. That's the, yeah, that's well, the unfortunate thing. Yeah, well, I am, Trev. Thing. Thanks a lot. No, you guys were great. Congratulations, Trev. Well deserved, mate. I see yeah, you've got... I, I, see uh, you. I played a great game myself. <laughs> <laughs> where, where were you actually sitting, Trev? Uh, we're here at the North Melbourne Social Club. The players have come back for a short time. Then they're off to the tennis centre for a big dinner. And I've got some of the players with me alongside me. First up, we have uh, Darren Crocker sporting the, uh, the stitches in the eye and getting a good reception back there too, Crocs. And, uh, mate, uh, how'd you uh, get the stitches there on the shiner? Oh, mate, just a, a little bit of a uh, indiscretion in the second quarter there. So it just went off with the blood rule for uh, 10 or so minutes and then back into it. And you look very attractive when you came back with the tape wrapped around the head too, mate. Oh, yeah, good look, wasn't it? <laughs> now, uh, what about in the first quarter? Uh, the Swans were running over the top of you, and uh, you, the boys must have been a bit worried. Oh, yeah, look, you know, we weren't playing well. We knew that they were going to drop a few blokes back um, and try and crowd up our forward line as much as possible. And I don't think we were playing smart footy at that stage. And then once we uh, started using the football a lot better, um, you know, the game just really, really broke open. Well, mate, congratulations. Next to Darren Crocker, we have the great man himself, Mickey Martin. <laughs> Sensational. Well, I think, Mickey, you would have had the most nervous week of just about anyone at the club. How was your week knowing that you had to play on the big boy plugger? Uh, yeah, being in the grand final and playing on plugger it makes it double uh, nervous. And uh, the whole week is sort of like a bit edgy and that, but um, uh, it turned out really well. Mick says now, mate, uh, plugger, when did you think that the boys nervous. finally had it? Um, about the last second before siren. All right, mate. And uh, next to Mickey Martin, we've got Glenn Freeborn. And uh, Glenn, absolutely sensational in the second quarter. Kept three, some good goals absolute, too. three goals in the second quarter, kept the, kept the boys in it. Very well done, mate. How'd you feel? Yeah, no, I was pretty wrapped with uh, my second quarter. And um, yeah, no, I'm going to get all, all fussy. No, it was just good, you know, like we were starting to get on top of them in the second quarter. And it was. What? A few bounces went my way and it was good just to finish off and kick a few goals. <laughs> now, mate, uh, you're only a second year player, but you didn't look overawed out there. Uh, I was pretty edgy before the game. A few visits to the toilet. Now the, and next to Glenn Freeborn, we have the man himself, the Norm Smith medalist, Glenn Archer. <laughs> it's uh, or Newman, as his name here at the club. Or it's, the, it's now the Newman Smith medal, Daryl, apparently. <laughs> Now, Glenn, absolute thrill must be not only to win the flag, but best on ground as well. Yeah, something you don't think of. You know, you go out there to win the grand final and to, uh, to win the Norm Smith as well. It's just a tremendous bonus. Trevor? Uh, yes, Daryl. Can I just ask, Glenn, when, uh, when the, you're lining up for the national anthem, you, I noticed you were all staring directly at the, at the Swans players. Was that a psychological tactic you were told to do, or was it just uh, that you have to be facing each other and you thought we'll stare each other out? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, every, final I, every final I've played in, I, uh, I usually pick out the player that I'm playing on and try and stare him out a little bit. And how did you go in that, uh, in that sense? Did he stare you out or did you stare him out? Sorry, I couldn't did hear you. We, did you stare him out or did he stare you out? Uh, who's that? My man. Your opponent. Uh, hopefully I yeah. stared him out. And could you stare that bloke out behind you? <laughs> <laughs> Over your shoulder, not the other shoulder, Trip. As we can see, there's a bit of revelry here. There's a few, a few more of the boys over here. We've got uh, Freddie Allison, Fruity, absolute star. And then had a great final series, of, including Dale, of course. You remember seven goals against Geelong. Great thrill, mate. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a dream come true, and uh, you know, we're just going to enjoy it tonight. It was great today. Well, uh, Brett's, of course, originally from Canberra. It's a long way from uh, 
from the Canberra to uh, the, the podium at the MCG, is it, mate? Yeah, it's a hell of a long way, and it's been 10 years to do, and uh, you know, it's finally it's finally happened to arrive today. Well, mate, congratulations, and uh, I know the boys are going to enjoy themselves tonight, Darryl, although they're so focused on the 1997 season that they're actually not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, of course, they would never think of it. I just want to celebrate, um, but can you ask, what is that guy's name behind you, uh, Trev? The guy, oh, he's gone He's now. gone now. <laughs> He's probably standing behind the curtain. There was a guy with his head in shot the entire interview. There. But he's, he's disappeared. However, our congratulations to all the guys there. They're obviously going to rage on. You're going to rage on with them, no doubt. Um, so we, we might see you in a couple of days' time then, yeah? Yes, Daryl. My only regret is there's, there's no footy show next week, so I can stick it up, everyone. Well, well maybe, uh, maybe you'll get a chance to write the panto. Oh, there's that man! <laughs> Who is that man, Trip? Who is that man, Trev? I don't know, I just think I've picked up, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was Trevor Marmalade! And... To you, Trevor, take this unknown stranger to your lawful wedded partner.